I would like to introduce my friend Jackie. She's going to join me today. She's got the most adorable channel, so you guys have to check it out. I'll link it down below, but we'll tell you a little bit more about it later too. Um, but today we're gonna make something super adorable. Uh, panda sandwiches! Yay! Yay. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted an idea for a Christmas party that I'm going to. It's just like a potluck kind of thing, so I thought these would just be super cute. I ordered this off of Tokyo Otaku Mode, and they sell lots of really cool Japanese stuff that lots of you guys uh, probably might find it hard to find in your country and they ship internationally so their prices aren't bad at all so I even order stuff off there so um, I probably you would find them pretty affordable as well so check that out but let me show you what we're gonna make today Ta-da! Panda sandwiches! Look at the little panda heads. I'm so excited. Sandwiches cannot get cuter than this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright, so we went to the grocery store and we got some yummy fillings to put inside. This is a custard cream. Yummy. And a regular strawberry jam. That's absolutely delicious. Everyone loves strawberry. Yeah. How can you not like strawberry jam? You yeah. can also make it into a pizza kind of yes. pizza pocket or even grilled cheese and just yeah. dip it in your awesome tomato soup. Yeah, like you could fill them with cheese and tomato mm. sauce and put them in the toaster oven and warm them up. Yum! Mm. Um, but today we're gonna make sweet ones. So yeah, you could do all kinds of things with these sandwiches. I think it's just a really cool and convenient idea. The way it closes the sides of the sandwich so that yeah. the stuff doesn't leak out. Nice for picnics or potlucks, stuff like that. All right, let's get started. Yay! All right, so this is what you guys need. We've got eight slices of bread. Japanese bread comes in like <laughs> counted slices. Slices. It's usually eight, six, or four. So the eight slice one, the pieces are pretty thin, you can see here. So try and find some bread that's about this thickness. And then we've got some chocolatey pens for decorating the faces after. You don't need to add this, but I think it'll just be fun to be able to draw some faces on the pandas later. So if you guys don't have these chocolate pens where you're from, just a melting chocolate from any of your baking store or grocery store, you can probably find it there. That would work as well. We got these cute like silver sprinkles and some heart and star sprinkles. I've used these in my other videos before. I'm just obsessed with these. They're so cute. And then, yep, our custard cream and our strawberry jam and our panda face maker. Alright guys, so take your bread, place it in the black part, like so, and then we're just gonna like make an outline. So don't you don't have to push it all the way down, just enough so that it'll make like an imprint on your bread. Yeah, like that. And then you're going to take your cute little panda face and you're going to try and center it as much as possible on the bread and push down hard enough, just so that you can make sure you actually have the panda face on there. Yay! <laughs> that so is cute. so cute! Oh my god, this is adorable. Okay, so that's our one piece all done. So take another piece of bread. Print down an outline again. There you go. Now take your fillings. And don't be too stingy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make sure you put enough in there. So take your first piece of bread there, lay it on top, try to match them up, but it, it really doesn't matter. And then take the white, white piece, and now this time you want to push it down really hard so that you're cutting the bread and sealing the two pieces together. Yeah, you can even pick it up and squeeze it in your hands like that. All right. Ta-da! Ah, turned out amazing. Oh, look at it. Oh, that is so cute. And the sides are sealed all nicely.
All right, so I put some boiling water in the bowl here, so we're gonna melt our chocolate pens. Again, if you guys can't find these, just get some melting chocolate or like chocolate chips or something. guys I hope you enjoyed that those are lots of fun to they make they were so, so adorable cute. and you could really just like do whatever you want with the faces Jackie had the idea to use the custard for the eyes and I think that turned out really they cute are. and you know when you say they're so cute I just want to eat it yeah this is one of those times you where you can want to eat them we're eating our crusts now so we have like a bag full of crusts to eat <laughs> I think this is the one that has strawberry and custard in so this one should be really yummy do you want to yeah the honors? and that's the surprise of them right is that you don't necessarily yeah you don't know, know what's in them itadakimasu itadakimasu oh mm. man mm, that is so good that custard is so good i was kind of iffy on the custard because i never had it before but it was really yummy and it goes well with the strawberry and the chocolate you're, you're getting like a mishmash of flavors on your tongue <laughs> This is so good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you guys want to buy your own panda sandwich stamper, I will put all the uh, information right after this, so keep watching. Well, thank you, Jackie, for joining me. Yay. Um, make sure to check out her channel. She makes adorable, geeky crafts. She's so talented, and her videos are so much fun to watch, so if you guys are into that, definitely check it out. And I will be making Charlotte do something on my channel as well, so, so make excited. sure you head on over <laughs> there, because she's going to be really really Yay. fun to watch. Yay! <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. Bye! So if you guys want to get your own panda sandwiches, I put the link down in the description box so you can check that out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day guys. Bye!